Well, hey everybody, welcome to Storytime with Andy. I'm so glad you're reading with us today. We are reading a pretty popular book. You might have even read it before. It's a book called The Kissing Hand, and it's about a mama raccoon and her little boy Chester right here. And Chester is about to go off to school for the very first time. And he has lots of questions about what the teacher will be like and the classmates and um, if he'll miss his mom, that kind of thing. And so his mom explains in the book about the kissing hand. And I'm not gonna tell you here because you'll be able to see in the book, okay? Um, but we are going to draw a kissing hand at the end of the reading, so make sure you have a piece of paper and a crayon or a marker so you can draw along with us, okay? And I wanna say a special hello in this video to Gwen C. in Leland, North Carolina. It was Gwen's first year of going to school this year too. So Gwen, I thought of you when I read this book and I hope you enjoy The Kissing Hand. Everybody ready? All right. This is The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. Chester Raccoon stood at the edge of the forest and cried. I don't wanna to go to school, he told his mother. I want to stay home with you. I want to play with my friends and play with my toys and read my books and swing on my swing. Please may I stay home with you. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester by the hand and nuzzled him on the ear. Sometimes we all have to do things we don't want to, she told him gently, even if they seem strange and scary at first. But you'll love school once you start. You'll make new friends and play with new toys, read new books, and swing on new swings. Besides, she added, I know a wonderful secret that will make your nights at school seem as warm and cozy as your days at home. Chester wiped away his tears and looked interested. A secret? What kind of secret? A very old secret, said Mrs. Raccoon. I learned it from my mother and she learned it from hers. It's called the kissing hand. The kissing hand, asked Chester. What's that? I'll show you. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester's left hand and spread open his tiny fingers into a fan. Leaning forward, she kissed Chester right in the middle of his palm. Chester felt his mother's kiss rush from his hand up his arm and into his heart. Even his silky black mask tingled with a special warmth. Mrs. Raccoon smiled. Now, she told Chester, whenever you feel lonely and need a little loving from home, just press your hand to your cheek and think, Mommy loves you. Mommy loves you. And that very kiss will jump to your face and fill you with toasty, warm thoughts. She took Chester's hand and carefully wrapped his fingers around the kiss. Now, do be careful not to lose it, she teased him. But don't worry, when you open your hand and wash your food, I promise the kiss will stick. Chester loved his kissing hand. Now he knew his mother's love would go with him wherever he went, even to school. That night, Chester stood in front of his school and looked thoughtful. Suddenly, he turned to his mother and grinned. Give me your hand, he told her. So Chester took his mother's hand in his own and unfolded her large, familiar fingers into a fan. Next, he leaned forward and kissed the center of her hand. Now you have a kissing hand too, he told her. And with a gentle goodbye and I love you, Chester turned and danced away. Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper across a tree limb and enter school. And as the hoot owl rang in the new school year, she pressed her left hand to her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's kiss filled her heart with special words. Chester loves you, it sang. Chester loves you. The end. All right, friends, we are ready to draw from our book today. This book is called The Kissing Hand. So of course we had to draw The Kissing Hand. So we're gonna draw this picture right here. You can see our little raccoon buddy's hand that his mama had kissed. So we're gonna draw his hand and all those hearts, okay? I'm gonna close it because I don't even think you're gonna need help with that, right? 
Um, and the great thing about drawing hands is if you ever get stuck, you can always just look at your own hand because a raccoon hand is pretty similar. It has five fingers on it. Um, so here we go, you guys ready? We are gonna start with the heart, okay? So kind of right smack in the middle of your page, you're gonna draw a little heart, okay? You guys know how to do this. Just like that. Boom, a heart. And then we're gonna draw a raccoon hand and they're pretty similar to the shape of ours except they have kind of tiny long little fingernails at the end. So we are gonna start over here um, and we're going to give him a thumb and then a pointer finger. You could probably even trace your own hand if you wanted to, to make it easier. And then you could add the little nails later on, right? That'd be a really easy way to do it. Should have done it that way, huh? There's our pinky and we come down to the wrist, okay? So raccoons have really tiny little hands and then their arms get really fluffy with fur. So you can just kind of take your pen or pencil and kind of like just make it fluffy with fur down here, okay? And you can color that in later on. And now we're gonna draw their little tiny um, fingernails. So gonna kind of do like that. They have a little bit of a curve. You can like shape them kind of like, I don't know, candy corn or something, right? A little tiny one on the pinky nail. And there is your kissing hand. And then we can draw lots of little hearts around it, right? Just like it had in the picture in the book. I love that book so much. So sweet to think about your mommy's kiss being with you all the time. I love it. And we need to draw the title of our book. So I'm going to take this out here and you guys can draw along. It's the T H E K I S S I N G. I bet you know a song that goes a little bit like that, right? Uh, the kissing and hand. Okay, H A N D. The kissing hand. And we'll draw one more heart there. Look at that, it's so easy. That was a really easy one today. Really fast, super fun. Okay, well that was the kissing hand. It's so sweet, right? I love thinking about going off to school and having a little kiss from your mom that you can hold on to and that you'll have with you all day long. I love that so much. And I love that she said, don't worry, it can't wash off. Um, so that was Chester and the kissing hand. I hope you had fun drawing your kissing hand. Um, and I would love to see those pictures. So you can have your mom or dad put them on uh, Facebook or Instagram and that way I can see your artwork you made today, okay? All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in and as always, stay well and keep reading.